Hi everyone, Kevin here from Rolling Z. A few days ago, I was on Facebook looking at the posts in the King Song S22 Club, and Mark Weber asked a question about the trolley handle on his S22, uh, saying asking if it locks up because his uh, was quite loose and falling down. Uh, the discussion from there basically said we can adjust this with a ball inside the handle. Uh, he asked for a video about it. I wasn't aware of any, so we're making one. So if, if you've got an S22 which has a really stiff handle or a really loose handle and you want it to stay up or down or slide up or down better, then this might be for you. Basically what we need to do is take this handle off the top. This extender can then pop out the bottom, but to get it out the bottom, we have to get rid of the pedal hanger here. So let's start off by getting that out of the way and see where we get to. The small grub screw here, which holds the axle in place. Um, there's a small groove in the axle, which stops it um, with the grub screw in place, stops it sliding out. We don't have to remove that all the way. We just have to make it a little bit loose. And now we have to push it out of the way. Now we don't actually have to remove the pedal itself, we just want this hanger out of the way. Um, if it's easier for you, obviously we can pull this pin all the way through and the axle's going to come out. I'm going to leave mine right there because I don't need to take it off, I don't think. So I need a 4mm hex key, hex driver, and we're going to Remove these four. By default, these are set in the higher position. However, there is, a, as you'll know, if you've got one, there's a lower position available, uh, which will drop your pedal slightly. Um, less clearance, uh, a bit more leg support, I suppose, when you're riding. We have actually done this for one or two customers. Uh, most of them who have tried them lower have um, afterwards come back to having them back in the upper position. That's that part gone. Now on the top of the, top of the trolley handle, we have two uh, Phillips headed screws, which have to be pulled off. <coughs> if you're doing this to adjust your trolley handle um, to make it tighter or looser, you'll want to do both sides. I'm just doing this as a demonstration, so I'm just going to do one to show you how it works. So that's loosened our, uh, the extrusion from the handle. Now it can basically pop straight at the bottom. When I push it down, it gets into that closed position. It's now sort of capped in the, the slot in the hole that's in there. So just need something a little bit blunt, top edge of it to push that through. And that's just coming out the bottom here. And there we have it. So what we have here is a, there's a fitting on here to hold the um, bottom of the extrusion in the right place in the, in the slide there. <coughs> there's a ball bearing on the side, which is captive. There's a spring behind that and a 4mm um, set screw, 4 mil hex headed set screw inside. So I can now adjust that um, tighter or looser. Tightening it means the bore has more pressure. So if your handle is loose, you want to tighten it slightly. If it's tight, you want to loosen it slightly. <clears throat> when you think you may have, well, don't adjust it too far, but what you can do once you've got it worked out is slide this in upside down with the ball in towards the motor and it'll reach that point with that hole is, that it, it sort of sits in and you can see how stiff it is to move. Once you're happy with that, you can flip it back around, ball still the inside and up we go. When you push it up, it'll stop all of a sudden because it's hit the, the bottom of this top bracket. And all we want to do is get something like a screwdriver to just lift it up and line it up, basically. And there we go, it's now sliding through when I push it. Give it a bit of a push there. And it sits on the, um, in the 
the locked position, push it a bit further and there we go. I should have also lubricated it while I was in there, but I didn't, so never mind. Oh, that's that done. Now just need to slide our pedal hanger back into position. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to slide the axle back into place before I bolt it just to make sure everything's nicely sitting in the right place. Mm, not quite. There we go. If you have taken the pedal off completely, obviously putting this on, um, you can bolt it straight into place, it's not an issue, and then um, everything will line up. The, there's not a lot of, of slop in this, so you shouldn't have a problem either way. Depending on your wheel, you also may find the um, axle comes out easier or harder. Uh, if you do lots of jumps, um, if you put a lot of pressure uh, and stress on your axle, then it can bend slightly. Um, this is our demo wheel, so it gets God knows what abuse when it's gone out the door. Um, so yes, it, it has suffered a little bit even in its short life. One other point to make, King Song are very keen on tightening these bolts as much as possible out of the factory. So if you haven't removed them before, do be careful, make sure you've got a, um, a nice sharp um, hex key and it's well inserted with lots of downward pressure or inward pressure uh, when you first crack the nuts, the, sorry, crack the um, bolts and you shouldn't have any problems. That's us for today. I hope that that's what you're after, Mark. Uh, anyone else who was wanting to know what's happening here? Um, but yeah, that's the adjustment for the trolley handle on the S22.